camera put 50 pounds on me. Lead. Lead. This mohawk ain't working out on TV. Good morning. Welcome. It's November 27th, Wednesday. They call that Hump day. Hump day. Yeah. yeah, we got a lot of good stuff going on around here, don't we? Oh my gosh, we're so busy getting ready for Thanksgiving and <sighs> and our membership drive. Yes, and... you got a lot of stuff putting up out there. We'll do a shout out to Corinne. Hope she's um, hanging in there and thinking about you a lot here at the Chill Spot and throughout yes. NACA. And today, Lisa is going to talk to us a little bit about something we have going on that. Um, well, first, before you do that, I got to tell a little story. Okay. Okay. So in Detroit, where we're, I'm spending a great deal of time, we have an apartment up there working on a project, and there's a nurse, there's a Facebook page called the Detroit Nursing Home Lounge. Okay. So it's not a very positive page about oh. nursing homes and work in nursing homes. It's, it's really a very negative and 10,000 or so healthcare people oh, on there. So it's pretty negative toward um, nursing homes in general. And so I decided I'd be brave and post on there the other night. And uh, so I don't think anything about it. I think I'm cool and hip and all this stuff. <laughs> a CNA gun on there and said, go to bed, granny. <gasps> We'll be taking <laughs> care of you soon enough. <laughs> Granny? Granny. She looked at my Facebook picture, I guess, and just... I've never been called Granny in my life. I'm not a Granny, for starters. I could be, <laughs> but I'm not. And that is crazy. Did that hurt your feelings? Well, I didn't hear anything but Granny, of course. Aww. Go to bed. We'll be taking care of you soon enough. That's scary, isn't it? That is scary. You spend your whole life working on behalf of CNAs and they attack you like crazy? Mm -hmm. Wow. Sad. Do you think she knew who you were? Does she? you think she knew you were a celebrity well, on I know, CNA TV? Uh, no, apparently, <laughs> apparently uh, my celebrity hadn't reached the Detroit Nursing Home Lounge at this point. But uh, it is... Uh, it was funny because, you know, I really got beat up on, you know, why don't you just fight for more wages and, you know, shut the F up and fight for wages. Oh and so, you know, it took me back a minute because I think so highly of CNAs that, uh, you know, I had to think, man, I've been fighting this battle for 25 years trying to get respect for CNAs and... Then I was cut off at the knees, and it was about an hour in before um, a CNA came to my rescue and said, hey, the lady just asked a question for crying out loud. <laughs> Why in the world would you jump on her with all this negativity? And then it was funny because a little bit later I posted that I would probably soon be looking for somebody to work with us in the Detroit area, and the post changed. Imagine that. Imagine that. So... <laughs> Anyway, my message then to CNAs that have allowed themselves to get in a place like that where you would attack somebody and say, go to bed, granny, we'll be taking care of you soon enough, is you need to get a new attitude, a new perspective, because you hold people's lives in the palms of your hands. And that was pretty, uh, I mean, if that's, that just doesn't sit well with me as a CNA <laughs> supporter and... and uh, I don't know. I call myself a CNA lobbyist, really, because I'm always working on their behalf. But anyway, that stuff happens, and it was a wake-up call that our work is still necessary. Right. Goes back to what Lisa said on her show last week about gratitude. I think if you, you know, you think about that this time of year with Thanksgiving, and it's so important to keep that in your heart all year long, because if you have an attitude of gratitude, then it changes how you see things. You wouldn't have posted something negative on that post. You would have realized... You know, mm -hmm. someone's... Well, you know, CNAs options. do have a pretty rough road to hoe these days. There's not enough of... Excuse me, not enough of us. Mm -hmm. There are not enough of them. True. Um, they're often taken for granted. Yes. However, I have never bought into that no one says thank you because... But I have to think back when I was a CNA and people would say thank you. It really didn't make me feel appreciated. Mm. Because if you let yourself get to a position where a thank you or a pat on the back you can't even notice, then you're pretty far gone. That's true. Uh, I've always said you got to respect yourself, thank yourself, be thankful for yourself in yes. order for you to feel 
the gratitude and the mm -hmm. appreciation anyone else is trying to give you. So that's my big news on the chill spot. Okay, well, what I have to say is smile. Ah, <laughs> yes, that's what Lisa's <laughs> going to talk about, uh, is smiling. And a smile can change so many things. And I wrote down some quotes that I liked about smiles. A smile is a universal welcome, so it doesn't matter what language you speak. <laughs> a smile to a stranger can change their whole life, and you would never know it. Nothing you wear is more important than a smile. And my personal favorite is smile. It makes people wonder what you're up to. Well, that's true. Yeah. But, but just, why are we all, why is this all about smiles today? Well, because we have another important smile. Looky there. And it's Amazon Smile. Yes. And some of you may be aware of this organization. Um, of course, everybody knows Amazon. But if you go to smile.amazon.com, that takes you to their charity site and they give to nonprofits and it doesn't cost the customer anything when you log price on, is the same exact same prices it takes you to the exact same screen that you always have on amazon it remembers your history and your subscriptions but it will say at the top that it's giving to the charity you've chosen and cnas for quality care is our charity so they give us five one half of one percent of all you couldn't that do you the buy. zeros. Could I couldn't you? do the zeros. It was, it was 0. 0.5. I love it. I love 0. it. 0.5%. Oh, 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 so yeah, half yeah. a percent. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> and um, all you do is go to our Facebook page, and I have a link at the top that is this symbol that says Amazon Smile. If you follow that link and then hit Start Shopping, you don't really have to start shopping, but it will save that charity for you. And then every time you log in to Amazon, except you want to go to smile.amazon, then all of those... Um, Does the link to, take you to Smile, or do you still yes. have to put in Smile? You, if you go to that our Facebook... That link will take you to it so you can select us as your charity. Okay. Or it, it'll also take you to it once you've selected it and let you shop if you want to do that. But as long as you save we it on your get, computer... We ought to get a, make a lot of money in our charity because it seems like everybody's ordering from Amazon. Right. And even books and, you know, things like that for your Kindle. And some of those even count. So, really? Yes. Anything. So it's a great way to be able to give to a charity that doesn't cost you anything. And, and Amazon is giving that back. So well, we want to take advantage of it. We just had dog treats arrive yesterday <laughs> that we ordered through Amazon. So yeah. I And guess, with the holidays coming up. I guess I mean, now everything so is Amazon, Amazon. Absolutely. We in Detroit, our apartment's just a few miles from a Amazon or an Amazon distribution really? center. So we can get things almost the same day. Wow. Yep. Are you going to get the little drones dropping stuff? You never know. <laughs> uh, they can barely find our apartment oh. as it is, so I'm not sure it's <laughs> drone ready yet. But uh, yeah, it's uh, Amazon is uh, may change the world. Oh, they. I think Dane tells have. me all the time. I'm always coming up with business names and things like that. It's kind of a hobby of mine. And, mm -hmm. Um, I'm always though trying to say what the business is in the name. So we have, mine are always way too long. Dane <laughs> says that, that will be a URL. That's way too long. Yeah. You know, you get no, but so anyway, he was using an example the other day. And if he said, if Amazon, think about it, Amazon has nothing to do with the word itself has right. nothing to do that I can find it's anyway an with the word. company. Mm -hmm. He said if they'd have been called cheap books online, they'd have never made it. <laughs> I bet he's right. But yet Amazon doesn't pigeonhole them. It wasn't cheap books. On, I mean, that's yeah. how it started. True. But that's not where they are today, as we all know. Dog treats Dog yesterday treats. Yep. in the mailbox from Amazon. Imagine that. Anyhow, so use that because we, uh, CNAs for Quality Care, that charity that we started this uh, this year is goes to CNA development, recruitment, retention, uh, continuing education, a CNA certification scholarships. That's right. It, uh, it we're building that fund to be able to help the residents get the caregivers that they deserve at the bedside. Mm -hmm. That's right, and, and help not with the, the one that says "Got a bed, Granny." <laughs> We got to recruit some folks. <laughs> some good folks. Some yeah. good folks. So anyway, Amazon Smile, if you do not know how to do this and you want to be sure to help NACA and CNAs for Quality Care, be sure to reach out to Lisa Houck. Uh, you can find her um, on Facebook 
on, and just post to her on that Amazon or on Smiles. the Naka page. Or we'll, I'll the, see it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So anyway, let's uh, let's make some money for CNAs for quality care and tell all your friends and family because everybody orders from Amazon. Amazon, it, it indeed. Yes. Mm -hmm. So and it, speaking of indeed, everybody goes on there to find a job. My Isn't, husband's on there right now. And yes. who in the world would have thought indeed? <laughs> I know that's another indeed. good name. A little name. Jobs online probably wouldn't have made it. Probably not. Indeed. I don't know what it means, but indeed, we're going to find out one of these days if we're ever in need of a job, I guess. Yeah. Let's hope not. It's Thanksgiving week, and tomorrow is Turkey Day, and I can't wait. Yep, I've got to go put mine in the oven. The only thing I don't <laughs> care about, I don't even know that we have one. Oh, you better get Can on you it. Can get one this late? <laughs> yes, maybe you should find one that's already been prepared. No, yeah. I don't. Uh, <laughs> Dane is having a real turkey that he... Oh, Mm-hmm. I'm not going to Dane's. No. Oh, well, it was, wild turkey's yummy. Oh, but, no. Mm -hmm. If I've seen it, if somebody I know has <laughs> killed it, I'm not eating it. I don't know that many good people. I'm not eating their dead stuff. <laughs> so you don't want me to bring you eggs anymore? No. Oh, yeah. well, uh, eggs <laughs> are a different story. All right. <laughs> you know, they just shoot out the chicken's rear. Yep. That's all there is to that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and yes. we're going to wrap it up for today, unless you have anything more to cover other than and smiles and nope. gratitude and let's give thanks uh, for all we do have and uh, prayers go out to all those who uh, might not be able to be with loved ones this That's year right. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday so I look forward to tomorrow and we'll see you again on Friday until then you matter <laughs>